this is Cyrus Hojati. We're right here in front of the Culinary Workers Union building, probably the biggest load of trash in our state, the true pumper for these corrupt politicians, probably left and right, but especially when they're for the Democrats, they're for the most corrupt ones. It's nothing more but a voting machine by recruiting immigrants who don't understand what they're going on and using them by giving them bonuses and gift cards to get out to vote in the polls. And of course, many of them are non-citizens. It's been proven that they can vote here illegally. So here's what I did today. As you can see right here, I actually went out and got a banner and took a protest. Now everybody take a good look view of the banner before they take it down because there's a good chance they will, probably Monday. Today is a Saturday. And of course, what you have to understand is not only spread this information, it says US citizens first immigration policy. Now what that is, is that we want to put American citizens first. But unfortunately what you have is you have this sellout union that claims to be about workers' rights, but it's pimping up for these disgusting scum immigrants. Meanwhile, wages are going down and they're using it to basically get more votes for the Harry Reeds of the world, for the Rosens, the Mastos, the Yovana Kinsellas, the Ruben Kiyuhans, and the list goes on. And again, I don't use the I word in this display, as you can see right here, put out American citizens first. But these scumbags, they don't believe in it. They don't believe that American citizens come first. These politicians, these unions and these casinos have sold out against American citizens, putting interest of foreign nationals over American citizens. And that's the main thing that you have to get across. And I'm gonna put a lot of banners display, but I'm gonna see how this works out. And I talk about e-verify, you probably should e-verify all their union members. And as you can take a look closer, it says, tax the money that gets sent abroad. Hopefully I'll make another one while well, people can see it a lot better. But if you really do that, if you tax the money that gets sent abroad, again, folks, you don't mainly need to do this for the police state. If you tax the money that they send abroad, this could really control the flow. Too bad our legislature is not interested in mainly doing that. All right. And why? Because they are sellouts. And if you really do that, along with the E-Verify and the welfare programs, birthright citizenship, English as national language, you can probably see an exodus of three, four hundred thousand people away from the Las Vegas Valley. So let's take a look what's around you. As you can see, we're in the southern end of downtown Las Vegas. This is the Stratosphere Tower. God knows if they're hiring illegals. And you can see here, there's a north end. Now let's take a look at the Culinary Union building. So you can see here, oh yeah, we win. They established in 1935. So there was a time where they were not like that. And as you can see here, now look at this, what a coincidence. It's not only that the politicians that they pump up, like Harry Reid, that have walls and fences and gates around their property, which not to mention require you to have an ID to basically get in, but they have a wall too. They have a fence. Well, isn't that hypocrisy? So they criticized Donald Trump's immigration plan of separating families and building the wall. But guess what? They have fences too. Isn't this total hypocrisy, folks? Wake up. Stop the double standards. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Take a good look at this sign before God knows they might take it down.